there must be something wrong with me, Linus. Christmas is coming, but I'm not happy. I don't feel the way I'm supposed to feel, 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 feel. Good morning, my friends. It is like 11, 11.30. Um, I'm on a walk because this is my movement for the day. I found these berries. I'm not going to eat them, but they're very pretty, so I'm gonna see if I can dry them and make cute little holiday decor with them once I identify them. If they're like super poisonous, I'm not gonna like keep them in my house or whatever. But it's really nice. Look, there's some besties over in that field. Uh, you saw a clip of them before this. It's beautiful. It's like 40, 45 degrees and crisp and cold and feels so good. I've been like really anxious for whatever reason over the past few days. Um, so this feels really nice. I've been listening to, um, with my birthday present from Charlie, she also made me a playlist. So I listened to that on my walk. It was wonderful. I'm almost done with it now, but... Uh, there's no better way to start the day. I did some work this morning, too. I had a couple recalls, and those both went really well, and now I um, made myself a really good breakfast, too. And I'm just going to finish my walk, and I'm going to meet Becca today. I'm very excited to see them. We're going to go get lunch and finish some Christmas shopping. Iconic. I like this little bowl with a with a. That's the worst. It's so scary. Hello, my friends. Um, I am driving home currently, back to Buffalo, rather. Um, and it's a beautiful night, like just stunning. I love taking the back roads because it's just so much prettier. And I hope I don't lose this clip because of the audio. It's probably real loud. Um, but I just finished listening to the Waitress soundtrack. I've never listened to it all the way through before. I love musicals. Um, but that one I just never like, it never appealed to me enough to seek it out. And I never had like an excuse to listen to it in like school or anything like that so I just never did and it's really good there was a couple points where I was like actually misty eyed and that doesn't happen very often um so that was fun um otherwise today I met Becca for lunch uh it was really nice we had a great time it was great to see them and hang out you saw some clips and um now I'm heading back tonight because um I want to have a night to myself, like to chill before tomorrow's night's festivities. Let me tell you a little bit about what we have going on tomorrow. Um, tom tomorrow I'm celebrating my 22nd in Buffalo. I know I already mentioned that in yesterday's video. And I'm nervous. I'm nervous as heck because, um, one, like I'm super excited to just like let loose a little bit and go out. But I'm nervous because like, a lot of my close friends aren't able to be there, which is totally fine. Like it's the holidays. It's a really weird time to have a birthday. And I pushed it back a little bit, but that doesn't really help much because our school got out so early that like a lot of my classmates and things are already doing their holiday things at home or wherever they're going. Um, so the group that I'm gonna be hanging out with um, is my boyfriend's friend group who I adore. Like they're really, really lovely people. Um, who I'm really excited to like spend time with but I I feel a little bit weird because it's like not my immediate friend group and I'm I'm a really introverted person by nature so I'm gonna have to be like all right Riley just put yourself out there it's gonna be fine let loose have fun don't do anything different 
and I'm absolutely confident that everybody's gonna make sure I have a good time. I'm just nervous about it because I'm an anxious person. Um, but I'm excited. So we're going to a couple different places, but we're gonna start at this like beer hall in Buffalo that everybody says is so much fun, but I've never actually been. Um, but I'm gonna take everyone's word for it, and hopefully it's a good time. Um, and I have a cute outfit picked out, which is good. I have like flare corduroys that are like an olive green color and a bodysuit, just a basic black bodysuit and like my Converse Run Star Hikes is what I'm gonna wear. Um, and like obviously a jacket because I don't wanna get freezing cold immediately. Um, but I'm excited, I'm a little, again, I'm nervous, but anyways. Um, what else did I have to say? Oh, and then on Saturday, or Sunday rather, I'm just gonna hang out and chill. Um, I don't know what the plan is really, there is no plan. And then Monday, I'm going home uh, for the holiday. So I'll be there through the 26th. And I'm excited because on the 22nd, Beck is taking me to like, I think we're going to Binghamton. And we're gonna just hang out there and explore and It'll be, it'll be a good time. Um, I like exploring new cities, especially when they're near a place that I grew up, but I haven't really been there before, so that'll be really fun. I'm excited. Um, how cute were those dogs yesterday, by the way? Uh, they were my uncle's and my cousin's dogs, uh, but baby Max, um, he's a miniature schnauzer and poodle mix. They call it a schnoodle. And that's about the cutest thing I've ever heard in my life. Um, but he was real sweet. And then Beasley was the other dog. It's my cousin's dog. And he's, I don't really like fluffy white dogs, but he's a cute fluffy white dog. Um, I'll give him that. So it was fun. It was a good time. I miss puppy cuddles. Um, I need a dog. I want a dog so bad. I feel like that's gonna be one of those things that I like fight within myself so hard when I like move out on my own and have a big girl job and things because oh my god all I want is a little dog to like be my companion in life but we shall see if that's what the universe wants for me um I know it'll keep me from doing a lot of things but it also might like genuinely improve my mental health like tenfold so we're gonna have to weigh our pros and cons a little bit when that time comes I have a feeling but I'm gonna finish this drive. It's only about like 30 minutes, 45 minutes longer. Um, and just throw out a podcast or something. Just enjoy, I try to enjoy actually. It's only like 4.30 and the sun is dipping low. Like it's getting dark. Um, but this drive faces west so I get to watch the sunset when I drive back at night or at dusk I guess. And it's just the best, just wonderful. Hi my friends. So we are going to have a talk. Um, because I'm not having a great time currently, but I've had a great day. And I don't want those two things to get misconstrued. Basically, I am having a really hard time with body image right now. And it comes in waves, it really does. Um, sometimes it'll be really good and easy to manage. Sometimes it'll be pretty bad, um, like it is right now. Things are loud. Um, but I'm okay. Um, basically what I'm doing to take care of myself is instead of worrying about cooking dinner, I don't have a ton to make here anyways, but I ordered dinner. It's on its way, it will be here. It is something I feel super comfortable eating, but it's still really nourishing and full of all the things that I need to feel my body. Um, if you have the ability to, I would absolutely recommend um, finding a food like that, that's really comfortable for you. Um, if you can, whether it's something you make or something you order to be a safe go-to meal when you're having a tough time. Uh, it's one of the things that have, has gotten me through more than one tough moment and sometimes it's just really delicious to have. It's one of my favorite meals. Um, I'll share it when it comes. Uh, but what else do I want to say? Yeah, things are, thoughts are loud right now, like loud, loud. Um, just, I think, here's what, here's what I think is going on. Um, I haven't really 
worked a lot of it out with like a professional who can kind of confirm, but I have a good idea. I'm pretty in tune with myself and how I regulate my emotions. And I know a big part of how I deal with um, tough feelings is I take it out of my body and with food, used, it used to be with food, but now it's just, I take it out by being hard on myself. And I think a lot of it, and I don't want there to be any like thoughts that I regret doing this, but I think most of it, uh, why it's so loud right now is because I um, ran cross country this year. All right, I kind of forgot where I was, but I think a lot of it was um, body image problems were from cross country because as much as I really liked being an athlete in a sport again, I knew that the fallback from that was gonna be hard. Like I knew I was gonna thrive throughout the season, working really hard, um, physical goals, pushing myself super hard because that's just who I am and really struggling to get back to a good place with rest and exercise afterwards. Because I, it just, there are very few people who can live in a constant training cycle and have that be okay for them. I have races coming up pretty far out. I have not started training. Realistically, I can tell myself that I have a good amount of time before I have to start again, that I can rebuild any, like, any fitness that I've lost. Realistically, I know, like, I know I can tell you these things, but they feel really different in my body than they do me telling you. It's just, it's just, it, it feels tough. And today it's also harder because I have messed up hunger cues because of lunch. I ate, like, not a late lunch, but I ate lunch at a restaurant, um, or like a food place. I, I wouldn't consider, like, I ate Moe's. <laughs> I wouldn't consider Moe's like a restaurant, but like fast food, it doesn't feel like fast food either. Um, and it just is sitting in my stomach weird like sometimes food just does that i guess so um it i'm just having a hard time because i don't feel hungry right now i actually feel really gross and like bloated which are all fine things to feel um but I have to remind myself that I have to eat and I also am struggling with this whole like my body is changing after cross country season and feeling. I don't know if it actually is or not because I haven't seen my weight and I don't let myself act on those types of behaviors and I have been really like consistent with making sure that when I do choose to move it's in a way that feels good. Uh, like this week I completely went off the little like circuit thing I was telling you about earlier this week and I've just been doing fun workouts for me and it's been great but it is a little bit challenging to the body to my body image and it's challenging for the thoughts of somebody who has lived with an eating disorder for the majority of their life that they remember me I'm talking about me um but I also have to like hold space for that because I feel like those feelings are pretty normal to have and like people struggle with this regularly I'm just so hyper aware of it because it's something that I've worked so hard on so that when it does get hard again it feels scary almost because it's like am I losing this progress but the answer is no like I'm sitting here unpacking it with you on camera whereas like before I would have just felt bad and internalized that acted on behaviors and that's not what I'm doing right now right now I'm I have food coming and I'm unpacking it in a safe place I feel like it's just better now so I can sit here and have this conversation with you and it feels okay. And it feels almost a little bit better because now I feel like I can take a deep breath because it's not just on me. Like I've communicated it to a screen, to my phone. <laughs> but um, it's one of those things that if you talk about it, it gets better. But if you're out there and you're struggling with body image and you're in a similar place to me where you're like recovered or never had an eating disorder or have never struggled with your relationship with food, but you still struggle with body image. I see you, you're, you're seen. I understand. Um, your thoughts are valid, but do your best to get under them a little bit. Um, and take care of yourself. Even if you are struggling with the thoughts, take care of yourself and because you are worth the care, even if your thoughts say otherwise, um, objectively speaking and and if you're out there and you have struggled with an eating disorder or disordered eating and you get bad body image thoughts even if you've recovered and you feel like you shouldn't be getting them anymore you're human first of all um, we live in a culture that thrives on depending on you feeling bad about your body 
And that's, that's general information for everybody. There's going to be things that tell you your whole life that you should be looking different. And I'm, you're, where you are right now is exactly where you're supposed to be. And your body, when you are nourishing your body correctly, that is what it's supposed to look like. And I'm trying to remind myself of that. And I have to remind myself of that sometimes. It's a, it's a day by day process. Still, three years into this. We are three years into this now, and I'm still baby stepping myself through some of these thoughts on a pretty regular basis. Not as badly as I used to, but it's still hard. And we all st we still struggle. <laughs> um, but I feel confident in my recovery, knowing that I'm not going to take these hard feelings and act on any behaviors with them, which is a really great feeling. I'm very proud of that. So that's kind of all I have to say. If you are out there and you're having a hard time, I see you and you're not alone and I'm proud of you and it shouldn't be this hard, but you are strong and you are tough and you will get through it. Um, take care of yourself, nourish your body, wash your face, brush your teeth, wear comfy clothes that don't touch your body. And um, I'm also going to end this video here. So, uh, oh, well, no, I'm not. I'm going to show you my food. So that's all I have to say for right now. Okay, gang, I'm gonna end this video here, but I do wanna show you what I'm eating for dinner. This is a bowl from Core Life Eatery. I got the large size and a piece of bread, and it is full of very nourishing veggies and tofu and carbohydrates and fats and protein that will keep me full and make me feel good. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one for my birthday. Woo, I'm so excited. Bye.